Hello and welcome to cricketnews.com. This is Sandeepat Banerjee and I am standing right outside the beautiful HPCA Stadium here in Dharamshala. And uh, India start their massive home season from here. And the, I mean this particular venue which is situated right in the foothill of the Himalayas. And to start with, they are taking on the Proteus in a three-match T20I series. Well, um, coming into this particular series, there is a notion around that it will be a mismatch. Uh, because you know India are a massive white ball team especially at home almost all their big players are playing in this series and overall uh, the conditions will be in their favor and overall they are hard to beat at home but uh, in in hindsight uh, South African cricket is going through a transition period at this point the in this particular South African squad is uh, is a new look side they lack significant amount of international experience and um, Quinton de Kock will be leading this team for the first time so a lot of people believe that it will be a cakewalk for the Indians well wait I would like to contradict here and let me tell you why uh, first of all we are starting with a T20 version and as they say T20 format brings teams closure and also looking at the venues uh, I mean this in this uh, in which this particular series will be played. First of all, we are starting here in Dharamshala, then we are going to Mohali and we'll finish at Bangalore. And all these three venues are regarded as uh, high scoring venues in India. And the, if you see the Indian bowling attack, they're not playing their first choice bowling attack. And I mean, there will be no Jaspit Bumra, no Bhuvneshwar Kumar, no Kuldeep Jadav, no Jajwinder Chahal. So basically on the four of their first choice bowling attack, uh, um, uh, bowlers, four of their first choice bowlers are not playing in this particular series. So this gives the South African batting even uh, with their lack of experience a chance I mean uh, and the pitches will be very flat over here in these particular venues and if they can win the toss and chase and, and try to chase down totals I think they have they have a massive chance here also the South African pace attack is very decent the likes of Junior Dala, Kagizu Rawada uh, also there are quite a few other uh, pacers all uh, in this particular South African team which can enjoy the uh, uh, bounce of, of this uh, here in Dharamshala and in Mohali to um, I think they will enjoy bowling in, the, in these two particular venues so let's not count South Africa out here. I mean, a cricket is a game of uncertainties, as we all know. And let's not count South Africa out. And let's hope that uh, that we'll have a good series. And India is, from India's point of view, I think they would like to give their some of their youngsters a chance. They are actually building a team for the next World T20. I mean, there will be two World T20s back to back in 2020 and 2021. So they are building a side for the those particular two series, uh, two World T20. So I hope the likes of Deep, Deepak Chahar uh, and uh, Navdeep Saini they will uh, they will uh, do well. I'm sure they will uh, do well in the series. They are they will be also uh, in, they will also enjoy bowling on these pitches. So let's hope that we'll have a ma uh, we'll have a highly competitive series and uh, all that uh, both the teams get. Uh, get their objectives fulfilled i mean obviously it's the series this particular series or the subsequent t20i series is both the teams will be played will be a build up towards the world t20 so let's hope that some some of their um, youngsters perform according to their potential so do follow cricketnews.com for all the updates regarding this series and i'll be here i'll be uh, giving you all the updates thank you for watching